We have a brand new state-of-the-art facility for basic science research in planetary science. We have two light gas guns, or cannons, and with these cannons we fire projectiles at almost 15,000 miles an hour. Those projectiles impact a sample, which is usually a rock or a mineral, and we can study how those materials change at very high pressures and temperatures. We recreate the conditions found during planet formation. One of the key pieces of planet formation are collisions. We try to understand the physical properties of rocks and minerals, and we can study these phase changes and crystal structure changes in the lab. We have a team of people who are assembling and constructing the instruments that you see in this laboratory. The lab was in Cambridge for about a little more than 10 years. All this huge equipment you see behind me was actually in a basement and had to be pulled up through a vertical chute to get it out onto a truck and, and on its way to California. There's a lot of investment in our time, worry that something will go wrong, anticipation of how good the data are going to be. And that's all mixed in with us needing to do the experiment very carefully. And one by one going through the checklists of shooting so that when we hit go, we're guaranteed to get good data. Shockwave experiments are days and days and months of preparation followed by a microsecond of data. We get data. We have data there. We data, have data, there. data. 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 All right. Everything. Data. Everything triggered. Data. All right. <laughs> The types of experiments that we can do in this lab will be unique and provide new, exciting knowledge about planet formation. And it's what drives us to keep exploring.